Today we're going to talk about light bulbs and dimmers. Nathan Cox here, thanks for joining us on Around the Home. If you wouldn't mind taking a moment, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the little ninja on the bottom right of your screen, or the Around the Home at the top left, or the subscribe button. It just depends on the device you're viewing us on. And if you're watching us on YouTube right now, the top right of your screen will pop up a link for our website with hundreds of more videos organized really well, along with a bunch of other content for you guys. So it used to be getting light bulbs was really easy, okay? What did you have to pick from? Clear or soft white? You had like a 25 watt, 40 watt, 60 watt, 75 watt, maybe 100 watt, if you're really pushing it, right? And that's about it. That was all your choices. Now you got the CFLs, those little curly Q ones. You got these LED bulbs, you know, a lot of people are going with these. They look like the old fashioned, this is an LED. Um, and then you got different bulb temperatures, you know, the Kelvin scale, you know, down to 2700, which is like really yellow up to like 6000, which is like so white, it's almost blue right and then you've got different wattages and the dimmer things what's going on so let's talk about the dimmers really quick if you have any of the two more modern bulbs the cfls or the leds you can't stick them on an old-fashioned dimmer switch especially those little ones with the twist knobs the little turn knobs right you'd have your parents house grandparents house you know what i'm talking about they're all over the place they just won't work in fact um, if you, you know, update and put the new LED bulbs in light fixtures and then start to dim it, more than likely it's not going to dim at all. Um, and as, as you're turning it down, it's just going to stay and you get to a point where you get low enough and then it's going to start flickering. Okay. The problem is real simple to keep it basic is, is the wattage and the voltage is different on these than on a standard incandescent bulb. All right. So that's where the problems come. But because these are actually controlled by electronic circuitry, it's not just an element in here. First of all, this bulb has to be dimmable to be able to dim. All right, and it, you were like, well, how do we, okay, it'll tell you right here, all this fine print around the base. I mean, when you buy the box, it'll say on the box, dimmable or, or not to be used with dimmers. And this bulb says right here, not to be used with dimmers, okay? So it doesn't matter if I have a new dimmer switch or old dimmer switch, this bulb's not gonna work, period, okay? Um, and you're like, okay, so it doesn't really work. No, it causes a lot of problems. They fight each other. Okay, so it's more of just, it just doesn't really work. Um, I was at a customer's house and I just updated, put LED bulbs in, and that old uh, turn knob dimmer switch was sitting there buzzing in the wall. It's not a good sound, okay? You don't want to hear the electronic, you know, humming and stuff like that. It sounds like they're shorting out. They fight each other. It's not good, okay? So if you want to have dimmable light fixtures, whether they're built in can lights or other fixtures or lamps and stuff like that, you need to have two things right, okay? First, whether it's a CFL or the LED, has to be a dimmable bulb, okay? It has to be built to work with a dimmer. And then you have to have a modern dimmer that works with the modern bulb. So both sides have to be right. Now I have videos on installing, you know, the new modern dimmer switches and some of them are really great. Got popping up at the top right of your screen. Uh, I got one as uh, looks like a regular little light switch has a sl small slider um, and I have that installed on a three-way system and then I have this nice digital dimmer switch install um, really really great I use in the kitchens a lot bar lights uh, under cabinet lights works really well okay so those install videos will help you guys if you guys need to update that as well but please if you want dimmable light fixtures dimmable bulbs make sure both the bulb and the dimmer switch are compatible I don't want you guys having electrical problems. Other than that, guys, I hope this video helps you out to understand why your dimmer switch isn't working, uh, or why your bulbs aren't working with your dimmer switch. Uh, please share this video so others, you know, I can help others as well. If you didn't before, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, check out my website link, and there's additional videos for you guys as well. Thanks again.